How's it going? Um, today, I have something pretty special for you guys. Um, so here we have FMR5 and then FMR6, um, which is um, a rig. FMR6 is basically an edit made by uh, BandyQuest. I'll have his link in the description. Uh, basically, it's some cool edits to the regular FMR rig that you can check out. And uh, I don't know why this is doing that. But uh, that you can check out and uh, see for yourself how like good it is and stuff like that. So today we're going to go over my uh, walk and run cycle preset. It's still in beta and stuff because I'm still working on a lot of stuff. Um, this is like the free version and then the paid version will have a lot more features and stuff. It's going to... Um, it's going to be a lot more easier. It's going to be a lot easier to like parent things and stuff like that. Right now, the beta only has like, we're only using like certain stuff. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. And I'm going to show you with FMR how this works. Um, it should work on like any rig that kind of has like a sort of FMR setup. So as long as you have like a net controller, uh, three body controller. So you have the hip, you have the... Um, I don't know what this would be. I guess it's like the twerking. And then you have like the back. So as long as you have like three controllers here, you have the neck, you have the arm, uh, or wrist. You don't really need the wrist. It's very configurable to like how your setup is or whatever, whatever kind of rig you have. So we're going to do this first with uh, FMR 5.0. So here, here we have, uh, you can see, not here. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it's at. Don't judge. Don't judge me. Uh, that's FMR, and then we're looking for the walking preset thingamajig. I don't know where it's at. I'm so confused. Um, because I have a bunch of stuff. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is basically what you get. You basically get just my thing that this is my preset, and then you get this uh so once you double click this you get the null saying walking preset walk and run uh cycle preset beta you open that up you get don't delete you get uh add to rig for extra randomness add to rig for walk so basically this stuff you don't really have to add this is more of like an extras thing uh if you want maybe like some background characters or something then you'd probably add like this stuff to them so that way they look a little bit more fluid in an animation um i don't think it would be really like logical for you to put it on like your main rig or whatever um it's ma it's basically just like some vibrate tags that you can put on your wrist your back and neck and then there's like different settings for those um but this is the main tab that you're gonna you're gonna be worrying about so basically you have all these psr tags you have one for the main rig the legs the arms and the hip or the waist so basically it's super simple as long as you're pretty knowledgeable about like how your rig works however uh let me show you how to do this so basically with fmr i noticed that yeah I noticed that the arms, you don't just ignore these are, uh, left and right arms under the control. They don't work. Those aren't the actual controls. I actually don't know what those are for, but just don't use those. They're under the bones, and they're all the way. You have to actually unlock some of the stuff. Uh, and in the red preset, it's much easier because Bandy Quest, he put uh, the arm controllers up here. In the bones uh, let me show you right here so if you go down to controls you can see it's the same thing but then when you go to bones you have arm and uh, arm left and arm right right there which makes it simple and FMR the regular FMR you have to go all the way where do you have to go let's see in FMR you have to go all the way down here go into here go to shoulders and then you have arm right and arm left and then once you go down there, now you have the goals. So the goals are all the way down here for some reason. I think you could bring them up. I'm not too sure. Um, we can try that. I don't think it affects it. Yeah, it doesn't affect it. So if you need to, I would just edit your FMR rig so that way your arm goals are up if you're trying to do this. Um, so basically, now that you have that going and you have all the goals here, uh, we're going to bring the walk cycle rig above here so that way we can... 
set it up. So basically, all you have to do is drag and drop these PSR tags onto whatever you're trying to do. So basically, on the main rig, bam. And then we have on the left leg, so we find the left leg controller, which is this one, right? And then we find the right leg, which would be this one. And then we find the right arm. Right arm is right here. It's confusing because it has R, L, L, L. So um, left arm would be right here. So we have that. And then we have to find the waist. And the waist is usually right here. That's control waist. That's going to be the middle section, like between the legs and stuff. So notice that you can't move these. And that I'll show you in a little bit how you can kind of get around that and stuff. So basically, when I press play, you can see that now your character is walking. But with FMR, it's a bit weird because, well, the regular FMR, it's a bit weird because it kind of stretches. And I think um, to fix that, you can go here. There's ac I actually have a couple fixes for that. But um, I don't think you, let's see. Yeah. Nah, we don't want world. So keep it on local, and you actually have to go into, where is it? Not here. You actually have to go all the way into back into the bones. So go control waist, go to right arm, left arm. It should be these, yeah. Go here, and then you should turn. Oh, stretch doesn't turn off. <laughs> oh, the clamp. Um, so I forget how to, there you go. Something like that. So just turn the distance down, and it should fix that. Um, so now we have like this walk, and basically if you go to, this is the main controller. So after you're done like parenting everything, you can go back up to your main controller. You can close your FMR um, rig, and basically you're going to do everything from here. So we have global speed, which is how fast. So if you want him to, to seem like he's time-lapsing through stuff, you can do that. Um, you have stride length, so it's like you can turn that into like a run, which is pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't do it too far, however, but it looks pretty cool and the arms and stuff they adjust with the legs So it's pretty cool and it looks really natural the way I did it Which I'm pretty proud of so if you go anywhere bef below like two it, it looks a bit weird because he's like standing in place But I guess if you want him to like maybe say like oh, I'm going to a bathroom uh, You can kind of do this and look now. He looks like he's gonna he's got to go to a restroom Somebody take, somebody give this man, give this man a toilet, okay? He needs it. Um, so basically you do that and uh, everything looks all good. It's really simple. Um, stride height is basically how far you want the legs to kind of pick up. It's a bit weird because the, the way the IK is on some rigs, um, I would say mainly this one because on uh, the red rig, it doesn't really look that bad. But, um, but yeah, it, it's a bit weird on here. I would do anything, like, up to, like, maybe five, I guess. It kind of still, it looks a bit weird. It looks a bit glitchy, um, at times because of how the IK goes. But, uh, you can obviously fix that. I have controls that would help that. So, I'm going to keep it on five to show you a little bit more what you can do with that. Hip lower is basically, if you have a different rig or whatever if you have some kind of rig that needs to be a bit lower uh you can do this it affects a lot of stuff so it affects all the ik controllers so i wouldn't really mess with this unless you need to uh it doesn't really have any purpose unless you have a really big rig or something uh hip swing is basically the swinging of the hips so you kind of get this kind of motion uh it, all the values are pretty low and very subtle so that way when you start up and stuff, it just looks pretty natural. Um, of course, this is a little bit higher. It used to be at two, but it looks really natural. Uh, if you have certain things a little bit higher, then it starts to look a bit weird. Uh, if you want some kind of like like a bouncing, like a happy, you know, go lucky uh, character, you can do this. Uh, this looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is just like the bounce. If you do it above, I would say... If you go above maybe like 35, 40, then you start to get clipping. So I would say if you stay under that, then it still looks okay, I guess, if you're trying to go for something like that. I would say under 
under 15 usually looks pretty good, but I usually have this a little bit lower, like 5. So that way it's really subtle. Um, hip thrust is basically back and forth motion, so if you really want to do like a hump animation, you, you've seen the ones where the character just like thrust his hips, you know, super forward. You could probably do it with this, uh, with some keyframes and stuff, and uh, some different motions, pretty funny. Uh, so, but that is that, because when you walk, you kind of recoil a little bit. Um, it's not a much, it's not much to know, but you can see that it's like, it gives that subtle effect that you're walking and it's like kicking you back a little bit, sort of like that. Um, hip side to side motion, that's basically the same as, uh, hip swing, but a little bit different. It kind of like axes your, or it kind of like tilts. So I should probably say that's, this is more of like a tilt rather than a, uh, like a sway or a swing. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice, and then uh, swing would be more like that. So, kind of, like, does the same thing, but they're on, like, different axes. So, one's at, like, the hip, and then one's, like, down here to control, like, the entire thing. So, hip rotate is exactly as it says. You basically get this rotating thing. Um, so, it's like, no, 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 no. I don't want none. No, no, no. Something like that. I don't know. Um. So just a little bit of rotate, always good. A lot of these parameters are pretty much uh, like if you ever use uh, C motion, it's a, it's a lot like that. You get like the tilt, the swing, stuff like that. A little bit easier to use, I think. Uh, foot swing is like this. Uh, it affects the arms also right now because they're the same controllers. But in the later version, uh, foot swing won't really affect uh, the arms as much. Uh, I'm going to make it a lot less so that way you don't really get this kind of look. But uh, that's really like dramatic. Uh, if you use something like, uh, you probably only want to use like up to like four or five or something before it starts affecting your rig. You could pretty much see it at like 5%. You can kind of see that it's like coming over. I don't think you really like notice it unless it's like a little bit higher than like 5%. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the stuff. So, it just depends how, how you want that. I usually, I kept on zero so that way, just in case people wanted it. I mean, if your rig needs it, then you can do that. Um, but yeah. And then foot separation is basically how how wide your, your feet and arms are. Now, of course, a lot of these two parameters affect the arms um, as well. So... In later stuff, I'll try to go and fix that and stuff. But uh, anywhere between, like, oops, I don't know why I have negative on here, but uh, anywhere between like one and two is probably as much as you probably would need. Uh, any less, you can even do negative one and probably negative two if you want more of like a feminine look. Uh, but just do note that it kind of like intersects there. So if you have a rig that has like smooth mesh and stuff like that, then yeah, you probably don't want that. Uh, it's going to look horrible in render. So we're going to reset all this just in case some of these were messed up. And then we have phasing. Phasing is just like the phase between uh, stuff. So I would say it's like if you want all these parameters up here to be more like left or more right you can kind of see this kind of goes between so the middle ground then you have that and then you have it just phases between i can't really explain it better than that but it's like c motion there's a lot of phasing going around but it adds like some ran randomness to these parameters i would say um you can always do one or the other and you can kind of get different uh looks so it just depends what you want. Uh, it's not really a noticeable change. Actually, sort of there it kind of is. But um, you can kind of... It's very subtle, though. So. Um, and then my one of my favorite things, one of my favorite features that I added is this Use World uh, Position Global. And I put in parentheses that it uses the MC Rig Position. So what this does is basically I'm going to go to the top. And I'm going to activate moves. Moves is what makes your character actually walk. So you can see here, this character is now walking. Looks awesome, right? And then 
you have this, but uh, let me show you. And uh, as your character is walking and stuff, you can move around the walk uh, preset, but notice how it doesn't move with your character. So basically, if you wanted him, if you wanted your character, let's say right here, if you wanted your character to kind of turn, he's going to turn like in C motion. You know, in C motion, uh, some of you know that it's like this, where your character is on one axis, and if it gets away from the axis, then, then you can't rotate your character on its own axis. I know that sounds complicated, but... Your character cannot rotate on this uh, because if you tried to animate this, uh, I'm going to show you really quick. If you try to animate your character rotating using the walk cycle preset, so we're just going to keyframe it here and then we're going to keyframe it here. It just doesn't, it, it doesn't look right. See, you can see that your character's like, whoa, whoa, we're returning i mean it sort of i mean you can do it but it would be super super tedious you don't want to do that so the only um the only thing i can do right now on the beta wait this is zeroed out no the only thing i i have right now for the beta is this uh this use world position basically what this does if you click that on you can see that your character goes up really high and uh, if you click on the FMR5, which is your, this rig, you can see that if we press play, now we get this where it's moving with the character um, as it's walking. Of course, you have to adjust a lot of these settings. So if we go back to the walk rig, you'd have to adjust a lot of stuff. So this is kind of where uh, hip lower would be good. You have to move that up and then you can kind of, there you go. So I guess that would be like the practical use of hip lower. Um, actually, let's put this to 15. Now nah, that's a little bit too much. Let's put that to 16. Okay, so if you use hip lower, then you can kind of get the same look that you wanted to. So now if we were to go to zero and then go to 20, and then we use your um, FMR rig, or we use the FMR rig. Oops, I had keyframes on that. Don't want that. Um, so we're going to go back to zero, we're going to go to 15, and we're going to start to turn, oops, oh, I guess you can't turn it, oh you can turn it, but you can't turn it, I don't know why it won't let you turn it, you should be able to turn it, I don't know why, hold up, um, ba -da -ba -da. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I figured out the problem, and the problem was that uh, for some reason if you put a PSR tag on FMR 5.0, that's the original by Frost X, or XI Frost 21, um, basically it locks it, so don't do that, for only for FMR 5.0, you can do that for FMR 6.0. Uh, for some reason this won't work, and I'm not going to look too much into it until later. Um, so basically, that's that. Uh, basically, you can move this around while walking. So we're doing the same thing as uh, I mentioned last time. Basically, we're using the global, and basically, we can go to the FMR 5.0, and we can see that our walk cycle is centered right here. So the only thing, the only I guess downside to this would be that you would have to, you have to animate it yourself. You can see that moves doesn't work anymore. Um, but you can, you'd have to animate just like the stride itself. So if I wanted to, for instance, uh, we go here to here, let me, 20, uh, we'll just make this like, no, we'll make this like a uh, hundred frames long, right? And in here, so we're going to put our character here and then we're going to have them walk, let's say here. I don't know. This is terrible, but, uh, this is just an example. And we're going to have them come over here and rotate um, like this. And uh, actually, he's going to come over here. He's going to rotate like this. Like that or something. And then he's going to come here and rotate. And then you can kind of edit the settings so that he starts like running here uh, like this. And then we go here to 65, and we do this. Let's just say he's running at this point. Obviously, it's not going to look like he's running, but... And in 90, 
and then we go here, and then we're gonna maybe like turn him maybe like this way a little bit, so he does this. So you can kind of see here that you get to animate your stuff as he's going. So it's really cool. And then you can update, you can do the parameters and stuff and make it look like he's running and stuff. But you have full control when when it's on, uh, when you go to position and strength and then you go down here to use world position. Now if you go, if you switch that off, you can see that it, it does it. Now you can see your character is right here where it used to be. And to fix that, basically you just put the stride height at zero and turn off anything else that you already messed up like with the with the uh fmr5 and basically you probably want to put that position tag so if you don't use the position um the psr tag on fmr5 i would recommend that you just put it right back into the add uh, rig just put it right back on main rig or whatever so that we have it for later uh if you want to switch between or something uh, but yes, I will have like an on and off switch for the actual PSR tag so you can keep it on, but it doesn't do anything until you use the world global control. So that's how that works. Um, basically if I can go back and fix everything else, um, before all that mistakes, all those mistakes. Um, so we're going to take this off of, now we're going to keep it on here for the time being. No, we're gonna take it off, we're gonna take it off really quick. So we're gonna get this, and then we're gonna go back to rig controls, update that, um, and we're just gonna keep it here. Let's say you're at you're at this point where it's like really weird and stuff. Um, I also have settings in here, so that way you can control different things like the hip, the right and left leg controls, the arm, uh, controls in the main rig strength main rig strength would be if you had that PSR tag on the FMR 5 rig which we don't anymore but uh, let's just say we did then this would control the strength uh, arm strength how, how much you want the arms to kind of go to whatever you have here so if this is a zero then it's not really gonna do much uh, you have like the the position setting so how much it moves so you can see that it moves this way and then if we put it at zero it just doesn't move at all if we do it this way we can do some offsets or whatever along with the actual thing which is pretty cool um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go all the way back um, before I did the global thing so that I can show you guys a little bit more stuff and that should do it take it off there and then go here and it should be good. Nope, it isn't. Uh, so we're just gonna go back a little bit more. Sorry, you have to see this. I wish I was more professional. And <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, uh, so we have this or whatever and you can see that if we move, uh, if we turn the main rig strength off, it basically just, it gives us like more subtle movement. Um, basically this can kind of, <laughs> this can kind of make the speed go little or uh, none. It kind of uh, lets you like incrementally um, in very small amounts, like get exactly what you want. So if you want them to go a little bit slower, but you don't want to adjust everything, this gives you like the, the ability to really like fine tune stuff uh, with how your walk looks or how your run looks. Left arm strength, uh, we're gonna put this to 80 so that way your character stays in frame. Um, we're gonna go like this. Um, and then we're basically just gonna mess with the offset. So if we wanted our character to maybe come out here and maybe like, I don't know, like say like, hi, how's it going or something while he's walking like that. Then we kind of have that. So you can make little stuff. Um, you can like make your walk cycle look like really professional and stuff. Um, if you do stuff and you can get that bend if you're like one who really likes bends and stuff, um, you can kind of get that too. You can see that it's a little bit different there too. And then if we bring this over like that. So once you start to see it bend, then you can kind of see that. You kind of get this look, but I mean, if he has something in his hand, then it looks right. Like if he had a cane in his hand, 
Oh, he'd be pimping. He's pimping right now. See, he's like, uh, uh, give me that crip walk. Uh, strolling. Yeah, strolling. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you kind of get that look. Uh, you can make him do some really weird things like get out of my way. Uh, fool, get out of my way. You don't know me like this. Um, there's just a lot of things you can do with this. Um, uppercut I, I don't know what kind of use you would have for that but there there's different things you can do and uh, the cool thing is that you have all this um, you have all this flexibility in how you want your walk to look and uh, basically you can do that with the right arm too uh, same stuff and you can just kind of randomize it to how you want it I don't know um, let's say we want our character to kind of like come out here that's a bit weird <laughs> and just I don't know have different stuff um, legs are the same way obviously if you want the strength to not go then it won't do anything um, if you want uh, the legs are pretty cool because it really that's like the main thing that you really like look at when you look at a walk cycle so if you want one leg to look like it's like really like reaching out or something you can oops, that's arm if you want one leg to like be like really far ahead or something you can do that if you want the leg to kind of like sideways I don't know side a little bit you kind of get that like if he's lumping or if you want um, if you want more I don't know if you want more let's see more flexibility on like how I don't know how it how they how it walks or something or if there's like maybe like a ledge here and your characters like trying to walk on uneven terrain you kind of have that um or even if you want more of like a limp let's see if i can't do this i think if you like put it down like this or something then you kind of have sort of a limp look um you got to kind of turn this down maybe a little bit too so like turn this down and maybe like put this down a little bit more then you kind of have more of a limping thing there's a little bit more stuff that you can do with that but it's really cool because you can kind of randomize how things look and stuff um, just by doing this. Of course, you can do this also just normally um, and stuff. You don't have to do this stuff, but uh, I think it looks cool. You can kind of customize if you want your character to kind of look sideways or something. I think it looks a little bit better this way. You can kind of see that that left leg is like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> floating leg. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know, there's different things that you can do with that. I was just kind of playing around, added them for whatever reason, but you can do that. Hip controls are pretty much really, like, like how you want your character to kind of, like, position themselves. So, if you want them to be a little bit sideways, you can do that. If you want them to be a little bit taller, this is kind of like stride length um, or stride height, but you have more, like, customization of, like, how tall you want the character to be sort of um although if you do have like stretch or something on then you're gonna kind of get a weird look uh, again you just do the same thing if you want stretch off uh you have to go to the right leg to the actual like bones of whatever you're doing so the right leg left leg right arm uh left arm and basically go to these ik um tags and go down here to squash and stretch and thank you thank you uh, and then go to zero and then you won't get that squash and stretch uh, look if you don't want that uh, Look like for me. I prefer not to have that look. So now when you do this, then it just automatically Goes down to where it's supposed to and when you go like this it goes down to where it's supposed to so you can also have them um, Go on his knees. It looks a bit weird sort of um, But I'm sure there's a way to kind of get that effect <laughs> um so yeah you you have a little bit more you have a lot of customization with how your character can sort of look and you can always go back and look at this and you can share like presets with friends and stuff um i think this has has a really good um potential to be really cool and stuff like that in later updates and stuff uh the more you share you guys the more it really helps out with me and of course a lot of these like freebies and stuff um you know they're they're 
things that I do because I care about, you know, there are things that I've learned and the things that I want to do to make things easier for you guys. Because not everyone could be an animator. Some people say that doing stuff like this is like cheating the system. But of course, you have things like um, the character character rig it, it uh, or the character builder. Um, my bad. Uh, this applies a walk to your characters. A lot of people use it like when they're rigging and stuff because it gives a really nice walk to bipeds, which are like the characters that you see in like animations and stuff. And then you have uh, C-Motion, which sure does the same thing except it's really limited. So I'm not doing anything that's like super new. Like, of course, anyone can do it in uh, Minecraft. I'm just trying to perfect that so it's a little bit better and more customizable. The reason I made this, like personally for myself at least, is because I can't animate as well as as a lot of people can. Like, that's why people have teams and stuff. It's not because that... Um, people are lazy and they want to make things to to be lazy no it's because it's harder for somebody who doesn't animate to make something great so for example if i wanted to light a scene right and i made something really nice and beautiful i maybe i textured some really nice models and stuff put everything in that's just a beautiful scene with models and stuff there's nothing going on if i wanted some kind of emotion or some kind of story I couldn't really tell it in a in a cinematic view. Now, if somebody animated a character, didn't have any lights or models or whatever, and it was just an animated character, they could still tell emotion and story and stuff through that. So it's kind of this this unfair, I would say unfair advantage for those who are animators and those who aren't. If you're an animator and you're really good at it and stuff like that, then kudos, kudos to you because you can do a lot of stuff but for many people who can't animate well and uh, who aren't trying to go for that kind of um, career um, there's a lot of people who just study modeling who just study matte tape painting uh, study directing study editing and for people who are very like specific towards that and who want things that can make their lives easier to make them seem like they can animate and stuff um, so that way they have something going on in their scene rather than a boring scene, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's what I, that's what I try to make happen. That's what I try to help people with, you know, is bridging the gap between people who, who can't do things and are very limited to other people who can and can do all this other stuff and kudos to them. So this is what I try to, try to, um, uh, help people with, um, so now, <laughs> okay, so now uh, what we're going to do, that's weird. That's so weird. Huh. I never, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not weird. Um, basically, randomness controls, that's the last tab. So basically for randomness, again, this is all optional stuff. Uh, basically, you have to kind of go in and find uh, the different controllers. So, the net controller would be this. So, put tag on net controller. So, we're going to put this on the net controller. There it is. And then, uh, this one says put tag on the back. So, we're going to find the back controller. Um, and this rig, I have to actually like click on it to know where it is. So the back controller would usually be this top one, this one right here. Yeah, control back. So it's always going to be like the top is the most top uh, controller that you have. That's going to be your back controller. So put this on back. There we go. Um, and then what else do we have? And then we have the two wrist controllers. I'm not sure if there's wrist in this one. I think there is. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay. So we're gonna put this on the wrist controllers. Basically, that's right under these bones. So if you go like two tabs down, you see wrist right, wrist left. So on wrist right, we're gonna grab this one, go here, and on this one, we're gonna go. We're gonna go here. Oops, oops. No, there we go. Okay. So now what you can see is that 
I don't think if you can really see it. I mean, you might with the head and with the uh, wrist. But if you look closely, so we're going to look right here. Look at the wrist. You can see that it's like kind of turning and stuff. You can see the back is a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, you can see that if we turn this off, then your head's not moving. If we turn this on, the head's slightly moving. Uh, if we wanted to increase that so that way you can kind of see, then it kind of gives this cool look. I wouldn't do it that far. I'd probably keep it around like 20 or something in just this. But you can kind of see one exploding look like, oh yeah, give me the cookies. Uh, then that's how you do that. And we're just going to turn this up so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Uh, the wrist in here, you can see that it's moving like that. Then turn this up. We're going to turn the... <laughs> we, you probably don't want to turn this up too high, but uh, let's just say you wanted that kind of look. Like a crazy... A crazy dude. I don't know. And probably turn this a little bit down. <laughs> He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Put on like that creepy music. Just have him... This be like Herobrine. Like the derpy Herobrine of uh, Minecraft. Be like, I'm coming for you. I see you. I know where you live. Um, and then down here we have the hip controller, uh, it can, or the back controller, so if you want something pretty, <laughs> if you want something that looks crazy and hilarious, uh, this is how you do it, um, basically if you put this to like, one for each of these, um, I put it to like 105 for some of them, but, uh, <laughs> oh goodness. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, if you put this to maybe like, we're going to put this to maybe like 40 and drop all this, all these to 40. So you can kind of see, it kind of adds like more thing. Again, this is really cool. If you want like a background character or something to really like have some like life to them or whatever, you can kind of make a, a set of background people and then just copy and paste and have them have the walk preset under them and stuff i'm pretty sure you can put this under a rig i'm not too sure yeah you could and uh that's how you can pretty much hide it so if you wanted to you can probably let's see if this works you can probably make a copy so copy and paste oh maybe you couldn't i don't know if that would no i think you would have to take this one no uh i think you would have to you'd have to do it over again you'd have to make a new rig a uh, new fmr rig uh and a new uh walk preset um so i'm going to show that with this one so this one's going to keep on walking i'm going to kind of just oops there's two of them there's two we can't have this they're clones so okay so we have that <laughs> it looks all derpy and stuff and then we're going to add we're going to add it in again uh really quick we're going to do it for this one, for the red rig. Now, red rig is a little bit easier. Um, it looks a little bit nicer. It has smoothing controls and stuff like that. Uh, smooth edges and whatnot. Now, if you decide to get red, uh, the red uh, edition rig, uh, basically, it's a little bit easier. Pretty much the same setup. You put this on the main rig. Oops. Yeah. You put this on the main rig. Um, we're going to actually pause this for a second. Uh, we're going to put this on the main rig. We're going to put this on the... Which one is it on? Left leg. Go left. Uh, yeah. Right leg. Sorry. I blink out sometimes. It's not my fault. I'm smelling food right now. Um, and then we're going to put this on the... What is this for? We're going to put this on the right arm. Okay. So you can either do that with the with the null or you can do that with the actual arm. I would actually put it on the arm under the null. Uh, it just makes more sense. So we're going to put this on the left arm. And that would be right here. Oops, actually we're going to put this. I forget that they're, they're switched up. So if you do use the red rig, just make sure to reverse the order of some of the stuff because it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, he misnamed the arm left with arm right and stuff so i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure to have him uh have him reorder that so that way no one gets confused but uh that's how you do that or is it 
Yeah, yeah. I think that is. Okay, so that's how you do that. Sorry, I was getting confused a little bit. Um, and then you want to put this on your waist controller or your hip controller. And bam. So now you have two walks going on. A little bit laggy. I'm getting 20 frames per second on, uh, on a GTX 970. So if you have something lower than that, then this may lag out your rig. A little bit you can always put this to low and get a few more fps um so yeah <laughs> try not to if you're going to use more than one then maybe hide them or something so that way it's not so laggy um but yeah so now if you wanted to you could go here and uh ba -da -ba -da. so this one is here so basically, and then you go here to the use world position. We're just going to use that for right now. You don't have to use that. Um, it just helps. And we're going to gonna turn this up a little bit until we get to where we want. There we go. And we're going to go to position strength and maybe turn this down to zero. Right. And we are also going to, excuse me, um, we're going to just put this down here because we don't want that thing. So we just want them to go like this and go like that. So now we have two of the rigs and then we can put this under the FMR6 and we can position, no we can't, uh, we want him, sorry. We want him it's so confusing. There we go. Um, that's another way to off it. You can just turn off. Um, hold up. I should have done that in the first place. <laughs> I should. I should have explained that. So if you don't, you don't have to delete the tag. Um, the PSR tag on the main rig remember how i said that you you can delete it if things go wrong you don't have to delete it all you have to do is go to the main rig strength and turn that up or down so that way you can control where your rig is my bad for not explaining that but i'm stupid sometimes so <laughs> so now you have something that looks like this and i'm pretty sure if you put on move then it doesn't work but yeah it won't work unless you do this and you have to take walk cycle out. So when you're when you're doing when you're using walk cycle, the walk cycle rig to control stuff. So you can have it on the use MC uh, rig position. Uh, but when you need it to like to move just like on axis and you want to control it, then you you have to. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, you have to play with it a lot. Um, I'm not that great at explaining stuff, but so you can see here that you have both of them kind of walking at the same pace and stuff and doing the same stuff. Again, if you want that to kind of like change a little bit, you all you have to do is like little stuff. So now you have this this look of like it's very subtle, but now you have something that kind of like looks like this, and you can make them do this. Um, oops mess that up um let's see you can make them do this and then you can go to position strength and offset a lot of the stuff so the way it looks a little bit different maybe offset offsetting the z will give you probably the best randomness because it's just it's gonna do different things offsetting the z is probably the best for any case so you do this and you get a much different look so that's how you can uh, put a walk cycle on your rig. It works for all FMR versions or editions. Whatever. If you have an FMR edit, it should work. Um, I haven't really tried it with Anna Schwig's rig. The only reason is because he already has a walk cycle kind of thing built into his rig. Um, though it's really laggy, so if you add more than like two characters, you're going to get like some weird ra uh, lag. So... Um, the reason, the reason I even brought up FMR Red Edition is because I use it now, and, uh, this may be, like, some kind of, like, promotion kind of thing, uh, even though this rig is free, 
since it's uh, not originally like the dudes and the edit is just um, the edit has to be free uh, because it's not the guy's rig but um, I really enjoy it it's free and stuff it's good um, it has really good edits like smooth mesh being on and stuff that's pretty much you're gonna get a lot of uh, frame kind of lag or whatever um, or sorry viewport lag but if we take that other rig out you can see that it looks really nice and then if we go here to high detail um, it's gonna lag again but then you can kind of see the subdivisions and the smoothness so I really like it um, of course this guy needs to make another version so that way we can fix some of the stuff um, that's in there I'm not sure if it works with the smart move he has in it I can check really quick so I'm gonna turn smooth mesh on smart move is like Anna Schwig's rig um, and uh, let's see does it I don't know if it seems different at all it really doesn't show anything different um, so I don't know if smart move really works or anything on here um, if it really makes a difference I can't see anything but uh, basically this is uh, this is something that I've made for you guys I'm gonna have the link in the description uh, also, if you want no feed on your rig, this is another way, even though, but if you don't have feed on the rig, it looks weird because it's not like centered all the way, but you can do that too. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, go and check it out. Go play around with it. Try it on a rig and uh, go f tell me on Twitter. My uh, Twitter, hold up, let me see if I can't bring that up really quick. Promotion, promotion, I need promotion. So this is my Twitter. Um, I make cool stuff. I do stuff all the time on here. Uh, I talk about stuff. I do renders. Um, so yeah, uh, go check me out. Go let me know how I um, did and stuff. If things are working, if you find any bugs, what you probably want from this. Uh, any features that I can add later on. I don't know. But uh, yeah, go tell me. Let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, tutorial or something. So thanks for... Uh, Thanks for watching.